The Today Manufacturing Podcast offers a powerful and unique perspective on the biggest stories impacting U.S. manufacturers. Anna Wells, David Manti, and Jeff Ranke apply their experience as editors of industry-leading brands Manufacturing.net and Industrial Equipment News in providing in-depth analysis of the latest headlines. Their insight, along with a mix of humor and human interest, makes Today in Manufacturing a go-to source. Keep pace with supply chain challenges, electric vehicle developments, labor struggles, robotics, and more by listening, downloading, and subscribing to the Today in Manufacturing podcast. In the age of uber expensive vehicles, the CEO of Stellantis is making a bold pledge. In March of this year, the average sale price of a new vehicle was more than $47,000, a sum that's out of reach for many Americans. And if you're in the market for a new electric, that figure balloons another 10%, says Car Edge. With that in mind, automakers have explored ways to drive down costs of new EVs, and they're making some tangible progress. And it appears Stellantis, an OEM that's been slow to bring EVs to market stateside, is preparing to leapfrog the competition on price. According to recent comments by Chief Executive Carlos Tavares, buyers can expect a new Jeep Electric to hit the U.S. market, quote, very soon, with a notably low price. Tavares says it will start around $25,000. At a recent investor conference, Tavares explained that the company would leverage its global engineering chops to bring this vehicle to the U.S. at an attractive price point, much like it's done with the $20,000 Euro Citroën EC3 in Europe. Tavares describes this price point as a benchmark for affordability and says the company's job is to bring the safe, clean, and affordable BEV to the U.S. $25,000 will do it. This is a tall order considering Stellantis has just one fully electric on the market here the newly released Fiat 500e. That said, if Stellantis wants to make a splash in the EV sector, doing so by way of its Jeep brand offers the greatest chance of success. Stellantis says it currently holds 47% market share in U.S. plug-in hybrid sales, led by two Jeeps, the 4XE Wrangler and Grand Cherokee. Still, it won't be easy. When referring to the swath of challenges currently facing automakers, Tavare said, quote, we are in the storm. And this storm is going to last a few years. I'm Anna Wells, and this is Manufacturing Now.